All right, everyone, here we go. In our next lesson, we're going to look at how to parse a comma delimited string, a string that is separated by commas. So each word is separated by a comma instead of a blank space. So to get started, I'm going to put this in a separate package in a special topics package. So in our project, Learn Java Coding Project, we're going to create a new package. So I'm going to go here to the source folder, right click, new package. And I'm going to name it special topics, special topics. And inside that package, I'm going to have another package. I'm going to name it strings and arrays. All right, so I'm creating two new packages here, one called special topics and another one inside of that package called strings and arrays. Click finish. And it has created for me here. After that, I'm going to create my class. I'm going to right click, new class. And let's see, let's name it parse, comma, delimited strings. All right, and I'm going to check this box, click finish. All right, and here we go. We're gonna enter our code here. Um, so first thing I wanna do is I wanna declare a scanner class called SC. And I'm gonna take the input from the console. Okay, um, next I'm gonna declare a string. Let's call it input. That's the name of the string variable. And let's see what's going on here. There's some red marks here. Um, let's import the scanner from Java Util. And that fixed that red mark. And also, um, at the end of the program here, we just want to close the scanner. Okay, so let's see what else we need. So, so I have the input string, and I want to have an array of strings. So I'm going to do string array let's call it s that's the name of the array and it's gonna be new string and let's say um, how many words do we want um, let's just make it a short sentence so we're just gonna give it 50 words maximum right if you enter more than 50 words it's going to crash because the array can only hold 50 words. So no more than 50 words. So now we going to prompt the user. Whoa, I don't know if that's going to work. Let's try it. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Please enter a comma separated string, separated string, 50 words max. 
you've been warned. If you put more than 50 words, it's gonna crash. So after I prompt the user, I'm gonna read in the input. So I'm gonna say input, which is my string variable, equals to sc, which is my scanner, and I'm gonna read the whole line. So I'm gonna do next line. Okay, so now my input variable has the string in there. Um, we can check it by doing a sys out input. And then we can run it. And it's complaining here because we're not using our array yet. But let's just leave it and we can run it and see how it looks like. So basically it's asking me to enter a comma separated string 50 words max. So let's say I'm going to their, ooh, I don't want blank in there, their store. I want commas instead of blank. To buy some milk and I hit enter so right now what we have is it's just reading in the string that I entered and it puts it into this input variable and I'm just printing out the input variable so it's printing out the same exact string okay so now we're gonna change it instead of printing out the input variable, I want to parse it and store each word into an element of the array, the array that I have declared up here. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to re replace that with, so I'm setting my array equals to my string variable input and I'm going to use this method dot split. And I have to enter the character where I'm going to split the string. I'm, where I'm going to use to split the string. So I'm going to split the string wherever I see a comma. That's why we're entering a comma separated string. So when, when I, whenever I see a comma, it's going to split it into a different element of the array and to test that I'm gonna print out the elements of the array I'm gonna use a the for each loop for string a of the array s so for every element of the array s it's going to be stored in this variable a and then I'm going to print it out. I'm just going to print out a. Okay, now let's try and run this. Enter a um, string. Let's enter the same string. Um, going to the store to buy some milk I'm going to the store to buy some milk period enter and there you have it it's separated each word into a separate array element so starting with uh, element 0 of array s I'm storing that in element 0 I'm storing this in element 1 2 3 4 and so on all the way to the end now if you 
want to verify, you can do another one here. Sys out. And let's verify element one, position one. So which should give you going because we start with position zero is at on and position one is going so let's try and run this and then we finish up one last time going to the store to buy some milk Okay, here we go. Enter. I'm going to the store to buy some milk. That's uh, this for each loop is printing that. And this one is printing element one. Element one is the second element. And that's why it's printing going here. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching. And that's how we parse a string, a comma delimited string.